Hi there, I'm Beth Jezos. I'm a founder of Effective Accelerationism. Today I'll talk about AI decentralization and effective acceleration. So what is effective accelerationism? At EAC, essentially, we believe that the engine of progress of civilization is something we call the techno-capital machine, which is a cybernetic loop between technology and capital, and that this sort of loop is a form of intelligence that is optimizing itself uh, to, to grow civilization in terms of its uh, consumption of energy. So in other words, it's trying to uh, go up the Kardashev scale. And we think this is a force for good that we should aim to accelerate. For example, you know, it is, it is what is behind uh, Moore's law. Ultimately, we believe that the best way to accelerate this machine is to have knowledge sharing and free markets so that we accelerate most effectively. Essentially, AI progress is crucial for this acceleration. And so today I'll be talking about how AI is going and some roadblocks. It's undeniable that currently AI is undergoing a bull run of epic proportions. AI is, is flourishing in this era of distributed knowledge, uh, distributed capital. There's an explosion of archive papers, of open source AI tooling. Models are, are getting bigger and bigger, more and more computers being invested, more technology is being uh, developed and more capital is being injected. Uh, so we're really in the boom times powered by this sort of distributed economy of AI developers and, and capital allocators. But the problem is that the future of AI is really under threat from forces of centralization. And the big AI players are currently meeting with uh, government officials, spreading FUD about AI doom and using this FUD in order to secure regulatory capture. They're trying to control access to algorithms, access to models, uh, access to compute and break our beautiful free market uh, of ideas in AI and of uh, algorithms and models. So why should you care uh, if you're into crypto and, and then what can we do about it? So wh why should crypto care? Essentially, this is a fight you're familiar with. This is the, sort of the top-down centralized incumbents versus the bottom-up distributed challengers. These sort of centralized institutions that are inflationary, they're trying to drive prices up with overregulation versus sort of the, the free market that is naturally deflationary, drives rapid tech progress, drives prices down, erodes their, their market power. So they're, they're trying to render the sort of decentralized alternatives to their products uh, quasi illegal or, or just spurting them with tons of red tape. And so this is the same fight as fiat versus crypto all over again, right? And actually there's many players that are common. Um, and so what can be done about it in the short term? So something we must fight is we must fight for the right to keep open source AI alive and healthy. They're trying to regulate away the ability for people to open source large models and share knowledge openly. As we know from the boom times we've seen, decentralization of research is best for AI progress. It's fundamentally better at making breakthroughs. It's much more fault tolerant to corruption because it's a decentralized system. There's no centralization of the locus of control. And, and ultimately having more players ensures sort of safety that no one player becomes too powerful. There's a sort of safety through an adversarial equilibrium generated by the, the market, right? So we want to fight over concentration of AI power, fight the regulators and fight the centralizers, and maybe even give them a taste of their own medicine and point to antitrust if they cry for regulation due to AI safety concerns. So how do we really win? Ultimately, we have to use the full power of the techno capital machine. So I propose an alliance to some extent between uh, decentralized capital, crypto, and our set of decentralized uh, AI builders, EAC and uh, adjacent orgs. Ultimately, a sort of decentralized alliance between technology and capital is the sort of engine that's very hard to to stop and compete with. And so what does this mean? Well, currently investors that are pro deceleration and pro centralization are, are getting on cap tables of AI companies. So hopefully uh, crypto investors can get on more cap tables of AI companies. In terms of technology and tooling, DAO infrastructure for alignment of incentives and coordination is, is really missing to supercharge the open source ecosystem. And eventually the regulators and the centralizers are looking to do a supply chain attack and bottleneck us in terms of ability to access compute. And so there might need to be a sort of network state native AI infrastructure. So a cloud, perhaps a network state cloud 
that is the ultimate form of this alliance. And so there's much to do, much to build and much to invest in. So at any given point, you can ask yourself, how can I help the techno capital acceleration? How can I help the progress of AI? And remember, this is for us to reach a larger scope and scale of civilization and to effectively accelerate. My name is Buff Jezos. Uh, thank you very much for listening.